Okay, riff number eight. And again, we're touching on the Chuck Berry thing. And again, it doesn't matter if you know who Chuck Berry is. You should go Google him, though. Go look up Chuck Berry's greatest hits. Go get yourself a couple of Chuck Berry tunes, Maybelline or something like that, or Johnny B. Good. Listen to the stuff he did. It was very influential on a lot of people who came after him. The Stones, the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Eric Clapton, and of course those people in turn influenced a lot of others. And the influence continues to this day. And again, even if you're totally 16 years old and you're into 21st century heavy metal stuff, there's guys in your genre using this riff, okay? So this one here is a slightly modernized version of what I, of Chuck Berry number one. This one I call Chuck Berry number two. It's a little trickier. It's going to have the same elements, but a couple of extra notes. I'm going to start out with that bend, and then I'm going to still hold my first finger over the, those two strings, but I'm going to play them individually. Here's a little bonus riff. You should work on this. You should get to where you can play the bent note and then each of those other two strings individually. But in this riff, number eight, we're going to continue on. After I play those two notes individually, I'm going to come back on the second string, my pinky. Some people use their third finger. I prefer my pinky. It's going to come down at the eighth fret. I'm going to pick that note and pull off to my first finger, which is still over there at the first fret. All together, this riff goes like this. Okay? One more time, slow like that. Okay? Now when we speed it up. heard that kind of stuff. How about Freebird? It's certainly right there in Freebird all over the place. All right, that is riff number eight. Chuck Berry number two, as I call it, but riff number eight of the 25 riffs you must know.